Mercedes or Kate? <laughs> no, that was not my final. It came out my mouth and I disagreed. <laughs> Yes. Guys, remember how Doc's a vampire? What the heck? <laughs> I, we used to be Bobo, hands down. I just would, would have loved to have, 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 have played Bobo. But now, hands down, without a doubt, I want to be one of her. Uh, it used to be Tim, like... Doc, without a doubt, hands down, 100%, but now that he's a vampire, I have to say Nedley. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody can say Nedley. I have the answer to this. <laughs> um, I would... You'd be a great bunny lawful. talking about this, but believe it or not, uh, <laughs> because I, it was, a, it was a funny one, when I read it on the page, I, um, I was really adamant that I didn't do it like the cheerleading dance, where it was like rehearsed and polished and perfect, I'm not saying that my cheerleading was perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but you know what I mean, uh, like rehearsed, oh thanks, <laughs> um, but when, yeah, when I read it on the page, I was really really, really, um, I thought it was really important to not make it uh, unrealistic. <coughs> and what I mean by that is I think it's, it's important to tell the truth in those situations. And in order to make it like in line with the feminist show that we are on, I was like, I don't want this to be misrepresent, mi misrepresented in the sense that if it was all perfect and, you know, with bells on, then perhaps people that were watching it would be like, oh, if I do that for my girlfriend, and then if it doesn't go that well, do you know what I mean? Then you would feel like there's something wrong with you. So it was really important to me that we told the truth. And the truth is, when you come out looking like that, you feel like a bit of a knob, like, for sure. <laughs> like, definitely. And there's a lot of crew that were there, and I was so incredibly nervous, like, more nervous than I've ever been for many things. Um, and so I just decided to use that in everything and just say, well, this is how Waverly would feel. And none of those lines were in it where I'm like, oh my God, do you hate it? Like that was not what was written, but uh, we decided to play with that and Kat played along perfectly and, and then it became that scene. So it was very different to how it was originally written. And I've forgotten what your question was, but I hope that answered it slightly. Uh, P.S. Uh, season two, when I was on set doing something, I caught, uh, Dominique practicing for the Waverly scene, but she didn't see me, and I oh. saw her, and it was the cutest thing ever. Oh. She was super, super nervous hiding in one of the other sets, <laughs> doing her stuff. Uh, but I didn't say anything, and I didn't bug her, because as an actor, you're just like, fuck. You just, because you know she was nervous and getting ready to do it, but I saw her. Our, our tricks, on that note, our trailers are connected. Oh, no! <laughs> Just like this constant. <laughs> I was like, I'm pretty sure she's not having sex. So, <laughs> so I can't wait for her to shoot this scene because she's not one of these obnoxious like actors who works out in the trailer. So I was like, why is there so much going <laughs> on? Yeah. You know, sex with Winona is with this fire. <laughs> Yeah, she's with this fireman guy, and um, doesn't she know maybe don't trust the firemen that are in purgatory? And I guess what is happening with her and Charlie, um, I guess what, I think I know what she's getting from that relationship. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, um, can you just like preview why why she is drawn in by him and maybe what's gonna happen there? Because I think a lot of no, people don't trust him. Yeah. Um, I think just you look at him and you just sort of, <laughs> that's my answer, no, um, no, but 
it does look super normal and sort of dumb. <laughs> like, like I think Winona just wants something easy and uncomplicated and like, like he's eager and he's like, he's, you know. <laughs> Uh, I think um, that's always, as we know, been one of her um, the valves that she <laughs> releases pressure with. And so she's definitely blowing off some steam, so to speak. But also, um, but also there's no, it's, you know, it's easy. It's like he, he, he gives her that slice of normal that she's craving because somebody else is a vampire. That's complicated. <laughs> Um, along, you mentioned Bunny Loblaw, and you guys have had Jan Arden and, and Zoe Palmer, and then um, Chantel has joined the cast this year. I guess I was just wondering what um, your favorite maybe guest star or like side character that has come in is, and, and that you've got to play with, or maybe even ones you guys haven't had scenes with, but that you just really like, like a favorite side character. Uh, I mean, if everybody we're so lucky that everybody comes and they they're so ready to play, and I mean. Jan Arden, and then we made her the horriblest person in the world, uh, you know, and like, Zoe I had known before, so I was super happy to have Zoe. Uh, Justin is wonderful. Oh yeah, Robin's fantastic, but if, honestly for me, I'd say the smaller parts, the Calgary actors, we've had some great ones, you know, Levi, Fish, and there are a lot of theater actors in Calgary, so all the kids come, and they're just ready to, because our show's insane. Like imagine, at least we get a bunch of scripts. If you have a smaller part and you get one script and you don't know what this show's about, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? And, and, and they, everyone just comes to play and I think it's, it's really nice. I love, um, I love Chantal. Yeah. I like, as a person, I think she's just so cool and brought like, such a great energy. But also, also I, I don't think people talk enough about the fact that I got that girl on I know who should play this. I know, I know. And then, oh. yeah, I mean, listen, I, I didn't, she's the one who, she got herself the job. <laughs> like, I mean, we're being honest, but I, like, I loved, I worked with her on Breaking Bad. And I was like, I know, I know the perfect, um, and thank God she didn't turn out to be a disaster, because um, that's why you don't get your friends jobs, because you're like, if you guys hate them, that's on me. Um, look at the baby crawling, it's crawling, it's crawling. Um, anyway. needed to happen and, and it, it happened at a good time because don't forget like uh, at that point I was we're halfway through the season I've been alone for a while and in Calgary I haven't gotten more scripts yet I know my characters going through a lot I know I'm going through a lot with 
Winona character, and it's, I don't know where I'm at as an actor. I'm lost. So, and, 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 and I just didn't know what's coming or what's coming, and I just, I just needed that scene to happen because I needed to get some stuff out, and I needed some stuff to happen to me that I felt I deserved also. So the scene just needed to happen. And it was perfect time because it was like mid-season, and then it was kind of like, all right, well, now I'll go into the second part of the season with this new, this has happened, and we're done. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. And it was scary and crazy. And I had the best partner a person could have for that scene. I, I would second that. I think, I don't, I, I, <laughs> it was, um, it was funny because Josh emailed, I think, both of us and was like, I can't wait to see what you guys do with the end of 307. Yeah. And we hadn't even, I hadn't even read it. And I'm like, what happens? <laughs> so then I read it and I was like, oh, that's a lot of pressure. Like, because it's such a beautiful scene. And I think most actors, when you see a scene that's so beautiful, it's probably how you felt with the one with Zoe, where you're just like, uh, how am I going to do justice to this? Like, I know I can, but I don't know if in that moment, I'm like, we're like racehorses. We get freaked and then we can't get back. Like, you know what I mean? It's true. Like, we, we're either going to perform or we're just going to, like, get spooked. Um, and, yeah, it was the same. Like, just, um, I was very lucky that Tim said, uh, I, I, it, the camera was on me, but you don't see my hand. So I didn't have to slap him. And I was like, okay, I'll just go like this. Like, just let me put my hand out. And he's like, no, Mel, you, you, I, like, I'm very even emotional thinking about it, but he's like, you need, you need, you need to hit me. Like, you need that. And uh, it was just very generous as an actor to, to do that, because I actually, for you guys, you wouldn't have known. Um, but he knew that I needed to hurt him so that it would be <laughs> to hurt myself in order to be able to get to where I needed to be. And, and uh, so I'm very grateful to Tim for that. And I know I don't want to do it again either. <laughs> Yeah, the end of 307 also affected me, and I wasn't even in it. <laughs> I'd bring someone from the Harry Potter universe. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Hermione! <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like we need to get on really, really well. You know, you would like, fight, I think. No, it would be so... Think we would... Yes! I think oh, we would, would both be, like, trying to, uh, like, out, like... No! Yeah, you I would never want to fight Hermione. I know, that's why it would be so good. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be cheesy, but my bucket list would be to be able to play Doc Holliday on the sci-fi show, and now I get to. I don't know, I kind of like... It is tough. No, but like, I peaked. I peaked. You go downhill from here. You know what I mean? Like, it's the best that's ever, that far exceeded any expectations I had. So, it's not much jumping out of a plane saying you're going to do it. Yeah. You talk a lot about retiring in a white suit yeah, with a Florida. club sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wear all white. I'm gonna live in Florida. I'm gonna have one little hard-boiled egg in the morning. I'm gonna get little fancy containers for my hard-boiled egg. Then I'm gonna have half a grapefruit. Then I'm gonna go to the golf course and eat a club sandwich. <laughs> then I'm gonna come home at five o'clock and watch reruns and fall asleep. I knew we had a better answer. <laughs> yeah.